Good morning and welcome to Cincy Lifestyle on this Thursday morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Mona, good morning. Good morning to you, Clyde. Hey, for a lot of people, this is their last day of their work week. So um, I hope you enjoy today and we're so glad you decided to spend your morning with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Mona, um, you know, the, the coronavirus presents a good learning opportunity for all of us. So what have you learned from the coronavirus? I have learned sacrifice. That is the number one thing. And um, I've been reminded that you really do have to sacrifice for others, for the safety of others. Okay. And um, it's, a, it's a good lesson. You, you've also learned hair care, we know. But... Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> You're right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, some folks at Cleveland Scene Magazine uh, put together a list of 100 things that they have learned uh, as a result of the coronavirus. I'm going to share five. Now, some of these are humorous and some of them are poignant. For instance, they, they say they've learned what six feet apart actually looks like. Okay, I can go along with that. Number two, they've learned every song with a 20 second chorus. 20 seconds being the time you should wash your hand. Raspberry Beret by Prince. Jolene by Dolly Parton. Africa by Toto. And uh, the Knack's My Sharona. Who knew their chorus <laughs> lasted 20 seconds? Okay, the next thing they've learned, and this one is a recurring theme. Teachers should be paid 10 times more for dealing with our heathen children, is what they say they've learned. Now here's where it gets uh, kind of poignant. They say that one of the things they've learned is that essential service workers are heroes. And I think we can all bear witness to that, the folks on the front lines who've uh, helped us maintain life as best we can under the circumstances. But it's this last one that I think really uh, should, should come home to us all. They say they've learned that we should all be grateful for all that we have in life. Oh, amen. Amen to that. Thank yep. you, Clyde. That that was great. That was great. Well, and I can really relate to those teachers too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> pay them, pay them. Yes. <laughs> and you know, maybe one way to express that gratitude that they were talking about uh, is to give. So the Hawksworth Blood Center is teaming up with some of our town's favorite places to eat for a series of blood drives. It's called the Cincinnati Favorites Blood Drive Tour. And here now to fill us in on the tour is Jackie Marshall, Public Relations Specialist for Hawksworth Blood Center. Jackie, thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. We really appreciate you having us on today. Oh, most definitely. Now, this is the second year for the Cincy Favorites Blood Drive. Remind us what it is and a little bit about how you've expanded it this year. Yeah, so Hawksworth has partnered up with some of our Cincinnati's favorite establishments for a series of blood drives to give back to our amazing community. So our returning sponsors from last year include Skyline, La Rosa's, Buskin Bakery, Grater's Ice Cream, Fritch's Big Boy, Coffee Emporium, Montgomery Inn, and this year we are extremely excited to add stops to Aglamisi's Brothers and the Bomb Bonnery for a total of 47 blood drives around the Tri-State area. Mm -mm, you're right, that is great. So, so what makes this such a great campaign for this community? Why does this work the way it does? Well, not only is this a fun way to save lives in the community, but obviously during the government mandated shutdowns in April and May, a lot of these places had to close or adjust how they operate. So this is a great opportunity for us to show our support for these businesses now that things are opening back up. Well, and that makes a lot of sense. Now, the first thing folks are going to think is, well, if I go to one of those blood drives, I'll get some of the food. But that's not exactly how it works with these partnerships this year. There is swag. Tell us a little bit about what folks will get uh, as a result of these partnerships. Yeah, so we do have a lot for our donors this year, and each blood drive sponsor is going to be giving away a special gift in addition to this year's Cincinnati's favorite t-shirts, which look like these, if I can get it in the, the frame, there we go, <laughs> they're, they're fun shirts, um, but so our sponsors are going to be giving away, so Skyline is giving out a coupon for a free cheese coney, Graders is giving out a coupon for a free ice cream cone, La Rosa is a coupon for a free personal two-topping pizza. Frisch's is giving out a free coupon for a big boy sandwich. A free dozen donuts from Buskin Bakery. Coffee and bakery items from Coffee Emporium. A free pint of ice cream from Aglomisi's. 
a goodie bag of treats from the bomb bonnery and then Montgomery Inn's giving out a free meal to go plus a bottle of barbecue sauce and Cincy Favorites coupons. So we have a lot of treats for our donors for them to come back or hit the drive through or something, you know, whatever we can do to support our favorite Cincinnati restaurant restaurants. All that and a partridge in a pear tree. So, so, right? <laughs> so tell us how folks can take part in this and get more information. Yeah, so we can they can visit hawksworth.org slash Cincy favorites on that website. You'll be able to see the entire tour schedule as well as the signups. Um, so Right now, um, we are highly encouraging appointments so that we can have proper social distancing. And these spots are filling up quick. So get online and secure your spot at whichever place you want to go because we have a lot of options. All right, Jackie, that's great. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Thank you. All right. Mona? Well, and when you think of bourbon, Deep tradition and classic wood-crafted barrels probably come to mind. Well, there's a local distillery in Ludlow, Kentucky that has shaken that image by looking into the future rather than the past. And Allie stopped into Second Sight Spirits to learn how this beeline destination came to be. Okay, right now we are at Second Sight Spirits and my fortune is about to get told, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe. It's not going to be right, but I'll tell you something. <laughs> See bourbon in your future? Tell us <laughs> what Second Sight Spirits means. Oh, uh, the name Second Sight just references having visions of the future. Mm -hmm. uh, when we were starting our company, um, being a distillery in Kentucky, we realized that we didn't have the 150 plus years of heritage as like our friends down south. Um, we didn't want to name our place after a location because we've been self-funded up to this point. We were so small we were afraid that we'd have to move in the first five years. And then we're just not related to any cool dead people. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So we decided to look to the future because that's kind of a great universal. Yeah. We're all thinking about our next steps and what we want to do. And we thought if we could make it more about our customers and maybe um, have some interactives to engage them on a certain level about the future, we can make it more about them instead of about us. Self-funded co-founders, Karis and Rick, have been lifelong friends. Rick has a background in mechanical engineering and Karis industrial design. Together, that led to careers on the Las Vegas Strip, creating two of the world's largest shows, Cirque du Soleil's Love and Viva Elvis. Fast forward to 2012, they decided to hang their show hats, move back home, and start the distillery after many years of trial and error in their basements. The way Rick and I work is I'll come up with ideas, and um, like I, this was a whole napkin sketch. Mm -hmm. And then I gave it to Rick, and he's like, ah, oh, you can't do that. Because we were saying, like, the condenser is always, like, usually in a, in a sleeve, and you can't really see anything. Mm -hmm. Or, like, if we can make it visible and you could actually see the worm, that'd be great. Yeah. And so Rick... Uh, I thought about it for about two weeks and he just came back and he's like, this is how you do it. I'm like, all right. Rick's a good friend. Rick is a good friend to have oh, yeah. if you want to build yeah. something cool. Yeah, I get us into trouble, he gets us out of trouble. <laughs> it's a good balance. You're, yeah, the designer versus the engineer. Yeah, he's like, don't do that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> the business began with rum. Now it's evolved to Karis and Rick producing six rums, one bourbon, a hazelnut liqueur, and a series of moonshines. The space itself lends a hand to music acts, artists, and entertainment. And its circus futuristic vibe sets them apart on the Beeline and Bourbon Trail. Pipeline dream is what for you guys? We'd love to become like a regional destination. Yeah. To pull more people in from all over, uh, figure out more ways to engage, um, engage our audience, and mm -hmm. just become kind of that super cool urban legend, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know if you've been to Ludlow, but they got this thing. <laughs> it's way out of whack. It looks like it's staring at me. It's true, yeah, yeah, because I think that's what makes it more memorable. And again, if we can make it more about um, our guests, the, the better off we are. <laughs> I see success in your future. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, hey, thanks for uh, chatting with us. Yeah, this mm -hmm. has been great. Now try, uh, Now time to test some bourbon. I swear I haven't had <laughs> any bourbon. That's a wrap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right mm -hmm. now, yeah, we don't know if we believe you, Alan, but, <laughs> Ali, but, well, we're going to welcome the spirited Allie Martin to oh. our conversation. Um, Allie, I know it was bad, but I've been saving it up for that moment. So, Allie, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> 
tell us. Hey, I know you didn't. I didn't know you didn't taste while you were yeah. working, but have you? Did you have a chance to taste at all? So I had the opportunity to have a really small taste of the smoked cherry rum. And I want to elaborate on that a little bit more because they really want to make it friendly and approachable. So when they created these rums, which is what they started on, they wanted to create a cocktail that's easy at home. So with the smoked cherry rum, if you add a little bit of limeade or a lemonade of some sort, it makes a really great, refreshing summer cocktail. So I would totally go for that. So, uh, oh, Allie, that sounds good. I, I, yeah, I'm listening to them talk about the ways that they differentiate their business from the competition. Mm -hmm. How fierce, uh, from, from what you understand in that conversation, is that competition that they're in? Very fierce. That's a fantastic question. So I'm myself also a bourbon lover, and I love engaging in the bourbon trail and the beeline. And as Kara said, there's a very common theme of tradition and aging, and there's a background of history of family, and, and that's not their case. They have a very eclectic background, so for them to break into the industry was a little tough. Um, and that's why they're kind of taking a different spin to it rather than looking in the past on tradition. They want to look for the future. And that's what their background has been very fun and entertaining. And, but it's been, it's been a process. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks like it has been, but uh, hopefully things will work out for them. Yes, yes. And check them out on Instagram and Facebook okay. at Second Sight Spirits. All right, Allie, thanks a lot. Now, coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, if you're looking for that perfect staycation spot, boy, have we got one for you. We'll uh, talk to a blogger about why uh, Great Wolf Lodge is the perfect family place, plus a unique form of experience, maybe just what you're looking for to beat that cabin fever. So join us as we try out climb time in Oakley. Uh, in Oakley. I'm gonna try that in English, in Oakley. All that and a whole lot more, just a few minutes away. Welcome back. Well, while the pandemic has impacted life and travel plans for everyone, summer is finally here and many families are in search of a convenient trip to get out, enjoy some fun in a safe way, and reclaim their family travel memories. And here to discuss current family travel trends is the world-renowned Emily Kaufman, the travel mom, and she's teaming up with Great Wolf Lodge to discuss what every family should consider when planning a safe vacation. And we're gonna dive right in. Um, what are some of the new hot travel trends for people to consider this year? Well, it's interesting because I don't know that it's necessarily new, but the hot travel trend is the resurgence of the staycation. Not necessarily staying home, but staying closer to home. And something amazing is Great Wolf Lodge is located right there in Mason, Ohio, just a super easy drive to get there. And when you are ready and the time is right, Great Wolf Lodge will be waiting for you with socially distanced open arms with their new Paw Pledge program to help keep everybody safe while they play. All right, so talk to us a little bit about that. With all the current challenges, what are your top family safety concerns? Well, the family safety concerns for me really fall into the parents' responsibilities. No matter what destinations are doing or resorts are doing with protocol, it's up to you to make sure that you're maintaining those. I'm at a Great Wolf Lodge right now and I can see firsthand what they've put into place to make everybody be successful at that. They've got socially distanced markers throughout the resort. Their staff is all wearing masks. They're consistently sanitizing and disinfecting. They're only at 50% occupancy, so the crowds are limited, so you're not completely on top of one another. But like I said, it's up to mom and dad to make sure that you're sticking to all of these and keeping your family safe. You know, like I'm looking at some of the water slides, they look like a lot of fun. So what are the plans for the water slides and water activities and other facilities? 
Well, Great Wolf has shared that the CDC says that this virus is not transmitted through the water. So you can rest assured that when you're in these water parks, you're not in danger. Very good. All right, so where can we go for more information, Emily? To learn more about Great Wolf, and they've got a terrific sunshine sale going on where you can save up to 20% right now, go to greatwolf.com. All right, sounds like a great deal. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you, Mona. Are you looking for a new activity that will keep you strong yet humble? Well, that's the kind of experience you'll get while indoor rock climbing, and we are fortunate enough to have a gym in Oakley. Join us as we show you the ropes. Right now, I am here with Brent at Climb Time in Oakley, and rock climbing is becoming quite popular. Would you agree, Brent? Very popular. So what is the spark of rock climbing recently? Um, well, you have a lot of things going on. Um, number one, climbing is introduced to the 2020 Olympics. Okay, so you have uh, an entire population who has no idea what climbing is or that it even exists, who are now going to be made aware of that. So let's talk about climbing. Now, as we're standing in here, there's a lot of different options. Would you say if you're a beginner or an expert, this is a great place to come? So the beautiful thing um, about climbing is you can turn around on this wall and there is something for somebody who's been climbing their entire life who is an expert, and there is something for somebody who is coming here for the very first day. One of the things that I think that makes rock climbing so great though is it's really, it's a trusting sport, it's a team sport, but there is a sense of community of those who partake in a gym like this. There is, so um, climbers by nature are, are very friendly and you're gonna have similar um, attitudes and behaviors because it's a community who by and large we're attracted to the outdoors, right? Um, when you're in a climbing gym, the, the climbers are very friendly mm -hmm. and we're forced to rest in climbing, right? We can't climb, 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 climb because you're never gonna be able to, to climb at your best if you don't rest, right? So because of that, we're forced to sit down, interact with people, right? And talk with each other. Um, one thing with climbing, how people learn a lot is just by observing. Right? So somebody comes in for the first time and they're watching somebody climb who um, appears to be really strong and climbing with, with skill, style, really smooth, right? They talk to that individual, they ask them like, how do you get your body in that position? How do you make that look so easy, right? Right foot up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right hand to a clock. So patience right. is needed. Pati patience, patience is key and to, to stay humble, right? Mm -hmm. And not to have too many expectations. So yeah. if you can go into it with the um, mindset of this is going to be a challenge mm -hmm. and it's a growing opportunity and I'm going to have fun, mm -hmm. that's awesome because what you'll see in climbing, you can literally gauge your progress. Yeah. What you weren't able to do the first day that you came in, a week later you might find that you're able to do that and that, that advancement builds really, really quickly. It's a mental challenge and it's a physical challenge but it's satisfying. That's it and like that, I'm glad you said that mental part because yeah. cause that's huge because a lot of it is is problem solving, mm -hmm. right? And um, being yeah, able to puzzle. control your fears whether you have a fear of height or a fear <laughs> of falling and it is a puzzle. So you sit, you sit back at the wall and you look and you say, okay, before I even get on the wall, I think that this is the position that my hands need to go on. This is what my body needs to do, yeah. right? But sometimes, not until you get on that wall, are you going to be exactly sure with how the moves go. Well, so. Brent, this has been so much fun. A lot of fun. And you know what? If you're looking to check out something new and if you're into that physical outdoors activity, this is a really great option. Yep, and it's super close to the city. Su super close, something fun and exciting. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times you have to get motivated to, to go exercise, to work out when you go to gyms, fitness yeah. center, stuff like that. Climbing is totally different because the, the activity is fun and there's enjoyment in that itself. So yeah. you don't have to get motivated, which come, is really nice. Come climb, with, climb right. with some cool people. Come climb, come get strong. <laughs> That's quite the challenge. All right, if you want to give it a, t uh, a try at climb time, they have reopened with new COVID-19 safety precautions. You can check them out at either two of their locations, either of their two locations, one in Oakley, the other Blue Ash, or for more information, check them out online at ctoba.com. As professional golf resumes, it's not just the pros hitting the links. The sport offers a great opportunity for the whole family to safely get outside, spend some quality time together, and sneak in some exercise. That's, that's something golf legend Justin Leonard knows all about.
I've always loved playing golf with my dad. I've got two boys that play the game now. And so it's something we do together as a family. It's a great time to pick up the game, and it's a great time to to go to Dick's Sporting Goods and Golf Galaxy uh, to help pick up the game and, and do it the right way by, by you know, train fitters. Uh, they've got some amazing technology. If you need anything involved in the game of golf, go to dicks.com or golfgalaxy.com. Well, we'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, be sure to check us out on Instagram. I'm telling you, we post all kinds of behind-the-scenes pictures from right here on the set and while we're safely out in the community. So follow us on Instagram at Cincy Lifestyle. We'll be back. Our forecast ought to have a theme song, and it would be we're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave, topping out about 90 today. Uh, and uh, according to some forecast models, 90s as far as the eye can see over the next several weeks, humid too. So enjoy. Now, coming up tomorrow here on Cincy <laughs> Lifestyle, 4th of July is a celebration your pets may be dreading. So how can you help? Well, we'll take you to a behaviorist and we'll talk about how you can help your pet cope during the difficult and scary time. Then we'll learn more about what's referred to as the safest and sanest 4th of July celebration in Cincinnati history. It's all part of another Cincinnati curiosity. And we'll have that and so much more happening tomorrow right here on Cincy Lifestyle. Boy, everyone stay safe in the heat and check on your neighbors. And that's Cincy Lifestyle for Thursday, July 2nd. And um, we appreciate you watching. Watch us again tomorrow. We'll be here and make it a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching our video. Now, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, be sure to make it Great day.